All right, uh, we're back after the frustration of last round, <laughs> uh, where I just I lost two games that I should not have lost because of like misclicks and forgetting to set the stop and stuff. But um, it's okay. Happens sometimes. The important thing is not to let it tilt you, or not let it tilt you very much. Rather, <laughs> little tilted. Not gonna lie, but that's fine. Uh, still gonna make good decisions this game. Or try my best, at least. Uh, so we have two brainstorms and an evolving wilds to shuffle at least one of them. Like, to shuffle after at least one of them. Uh, we're on the draw. We have a scred to deal with any creatures our opponent plays. I'll keep. Hand seems good. Alright. Turn one fairy miscreant might be an issue. It's another Evolving Wilds, which is great. The My worry about turn one Fairy Miscreant is just that I will... Um, just that I, they'll have too many creatures. Essentially. I won't be able to, like... With four Scrads and one... Uh, one Electricery, I just, I'm scared that that won't quite be enough. Alright, end step, draw. Alright, I'm gonna play wilds. I need to stop on my upkeep with this deck. Whew. So I'm gonna start off by like brainstorming and then fetching. And we'll see uh, we'll see if the brainstorm resolves. Cause it might not. If they have spell starter sprite, or if they just want to like actually counter it, or they're okay. Sprite is fine. So I could brainstorm in my upkeep and then fetch. Yeah, that's that's really appealing. I think. So I don't waste the fetch. Uh, will give me one less mana this turn, but. I don't anticipate that being relevant. Okay, what's bad? Well, Exclude is just really expensive. And I won't have time to cast it for a couple turns. And then Rewind is a little expensive against this deck. But... At the same time, I think Mystical Teachings is the, the worst card behind the Exclude. It's a good card. And it's great at, like... I don't know. Um, like, I would, I would put the Mystical Teachings back, except that I need to find a copy of, um, Electricery to deal with their 1-1s, one -ones. so that's not what I want to do. I don't want to put just one Accumulated Knowledge back, because that kind of defeats the purpose, so I think I'm putting Rewind back, actually. I'm going to fetch a, a Mountain. All right, so we draw another teachings. I'm just playing this this wilds because I don't have another another brainstorm in hand. So we're gonna just uh, just fetch. Whoops. All right, attacking for two, which is fine. Great. No ninja still. Uh, so our opponent's either blue-red with a uh, really clunky draw. Like, just double island, no red source. Or they're, um, they're just mono blue delver and start drawing a lot of lands. Alright. Which is also fine. I'm probably going to teaching's end of turn if I don't have to counter something. If I have to counter something, or scred something, then I'll just accumulate knowledge instead, which will be quite good as well. Uh, that's fine. I don't want to throw a lot of time and energy at keeping my opponents off lands when they already have a clock. So, like, I probably should have teachings in response, but... They want to spend a, a counterspell on teachings. That is completely fine with me. 
Uh, I don't need the electricery right away. If they let me go get it, I will 100% go get it though. Sweet. All right. So that's fine. Um, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time and energy trying to hit land drops either. Because I'm already at four. I have multiple cards. I can like always accumulate knowledge at the end of their turn. Um, right. So... If they counter the first one, that's fine. I'm leaving Island Mountain up so that I can overload Electricery, which discourages them from trying to spell Stutter Sprite this. If they... But they probably don't... And they probably don't spend a full counter spell on it. Because um, they're just, like, countering a one-for-one. One, so, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna fire off the second one just so, just so my mana's efficient. They can spell Stutter Sprite it if they want. Um... Because I get to untap and then catch all three one ones with electricery. So this is is still not the best, uh, not the best situation for my opponent. All right, they're gonna snap a sprite and then counter. That is good for them. They essentially get to use snap as a counter spell, which is real ex really excellent for them. Um, yeah, that's fine. End of their turn, I'll overload electricery. <sighs> Looks like they're, yeah, they're mono blue, uh, because of the snap. Alright, so we need to untap completely in position with three counter spells if I'm able to force this electricery through. I will counter your counter spell. Let's see it. Alright. Yeah, uh, that spell stutter sprite got me. There's a chance I should have just teachings there. Alright, we drew land. Going to go ahead and scred this miscreant before my opponent untaps. Um, this is a little risky because it walks into like ninja. So there's a chance I just shouldn't have done it. Yeah, probably would have been better not to do it. But they haven't shown that they have ninja any other turns. So yeah. Uh, what are they casting? Delver is okay, I guess. Alright. Don't have anything else to do, so I'm gonna teachings. They can, like, counterspell it if they want. That's fine. Yeah. Scrounger does nothing. I'm gonna teachings for a scred and deal with this Delver right now. Uh, Magma Spray is marginally better because it lets us keep the scred in the deck if my opponent has Spire Golem. So if they don't, if they have Dispel, Daze, or Vapor Snag, yeah, they just Vapor Snag their own Delver, which is okay, but not great for us. We're almost certainly losing this game. I feel like I misplayed somewhere in here. And our opponent can cast whatever they want. This is a golem. Yeah. Yeah, we lowered our shields too much. Oh, and they're bouncing. Wait, select for inspection? What? That is a weird one. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So while they're tapped out, I'm going to scred this spire golem. 
That's why I didn't grab a scred. That's why I got the magma spray instead. So, sweet. As long as they don't draw anything at all here, we're okay. No, just kidding. Um, as long as they don't draw a... Uh, as long as they don't flip the Delver, we're okay. This is a ninja. Oi. That is bad. If I draw another Scred, though, we're okay. But I have to draw, like, the... You know, like, naturally. Alright, we're not okay. Game... Two. Uh, sprites of our own are great... And Pyroblast and Electricery are all great. Cards that are not good. Rewind is pretty awful. Um, Pulse is not that good. Scrounger is not that good. I think we can just win with Sprout Swarm. And we're bringing in four sprites. So that's fine. Do we have five more cards to cut? Wow. Uh, rewind is really expensive, so we can trim on those, and then I'm not sure how good memory lapse is when they have a lot of ways to cantrip. It seems fine, but not great. Uh, we can trim on one teachings because that card is really expensive, and we're bringing in a second electricery, so we still have like five copies of electricery effectively. Oh, we can take out two excludes because those are also expensive. All right, this is fine. I'm not the most excited about it, but we'll definitely give it a shot. I would like to play first. This hand is not fantastic, but it's solid, which I think is pretty much a characteristic of this deck, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Ship the turn. Mm hmm. All right, that's fine. I can accumulate a knowledge end of turn. Delver resolves. Uh, I think we're okay with that. Just cycle knowledge. All right, that's that's fine. <sighs> Oof. I think we just try to cast the Electricery as a one-for-one one right now. If they have Hydroblast or Dispel, we're in trouble. But, like, I can't let the Delver flip because I don't have an answer for it. Alright. So that resolves and we're fine with F6ing. All right, Fairy Miscreant is okay. I suspect they have a Spell Starter Sprite. Pyroblast is a good draw. They're casting AK. Uh, yeah, I will also cast AK. And draw three. Seems great, sure. Did they like board in accumulated knowledge to deal with mine or had they already? Like, did they already have it in? Is my question. Uh, 
Um, so we're just going to go grab red source, blue source. They have a ninja, don't they? Yeah, that's fine. Not happy about it, but sure. Yeah, that's okay. Can't do anything about it. Go grab island. Cycle the ash barons for a mountain. And pass turn. We're going to pyroblast this right away. And then just keep up two counter spells and and a K. And I hope Delver doesn't flip. Because if Delver flips, we're in trouble. We might be in trouble. Alright, flipped on a counter spell, so that's gross. Uh, miscreant is okay. Oh. Whew. So if I cast accumulated knowledge here, they just have to... I just have to counter all of my opponent's accumulated knowledges forever. I'm just going to teachings for a magma spray to deal with this aberration. It's an aberration... Disrupt. Instant or sorcery unless this controller pays one. Draw a card. Well, that's really good. By really good, I mean fine, but not amazing. I mean, it's, it's great in, in this this situation specifically. It's fantastic. All right. Um, rewind is way too expensive. So I guess I'll put back Rewind and Forest and play Swamp and then... Uh, I can teachings for shuffling purposes, but I don't have to. We'll see. All right. So they're going to five or four me, which is fine. That's getting sprited. I uh, should have tapped differently. Now I'm forced into playing Memory Lapse instead of Counterspell. Which is okay, but I just I have fewer options, so... Alright, so they're counterspelling. I will memory lapse their counterspell with mana for disrupt. And we should be fine. Alright, so we counter the Delver. And I'm fine with drawing another land. Alright, that miscreant is annoying. That's really annoying. I'm fine with drawing another land. Uh, one, two, three. So we have seven. So we can teachings for something and still have the um, teachings for spray and still have counterspell mana up. So we'll dead that and then pass the turn. Block with Sprite, of course, and then we're okay. Opponent's attacking. Ninja would be a huge pain here. All 
All right, they're snapping it. So they're like cashing, they're like cashing in snap to protect it, but still deal me a damage, and then they get to replay it and draw a card, so they didn't actually lose a card off of the snap, but, I mean, it might be a fine play. I'm just not a, not a huge fan of, of that. Snap doesn't have many other targets, though, so that's probably fine. Yeah. Untap. Uh, go get another island. And one, two. So we have seven mana. All right. I know my opponent has a counter spell. I think I have to accumulate a knowledge here. And like just just to. Whoops, except that they're going to have their own. I will counter back. I should have left Grotto open again. It's not. <laughs> this deck is hard to play. Uh, yes, I will pay one. Yes, I will draw cards. Okay. That's pretty great. Let's just keep going. Yeah, it's a problem. They used their counter spell. Can I? I mean, I have to spell Star Sprite. Hope it resolves, because... If it doesn't, then... My opponent's drawing five cards. Like, hope my opponent doesn't have Vapor Snag or Snap. Oof. Alright, we're in trouble. There's a golem. There's a bone splitter. Yeah, this is not going well, people. Uh, I do have two teachings in the yard. I have this electricery, so we can fight through it, but... I'll take the damage. I want to be able to counter two drops. Okay. Uh, that's fine. This is a weird game. Like, opponent brought in accumulated knowledge... <laughs> And we're, we just like, <sighs> yeah, so, so strange. <sighs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, cycle for bread, I guess. So that we can scred this golem and overload electricery. All right. Okay. So the opponent does have six cards, which is not ideal. Uh, but we do have these two teachings in the yard. We can go get our last accumulated knowledge, and then we uh, we might be okay after that because it'll draw us like six or seven cards.
Okay. I'm going to cycle this barons. For islands. Brainstorm is pretty solid. Alright, I'll crack in for a damage. Okay. Well, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, all right, let's start with Spell Starter Sprite. And if that resolves. Okay, so my concern here is flashing back teachings. Uh, if that gets countered, then I'm in trouble, but I think I have to do it. Like, if I flash back teachings and they have another counter spell. I'm uh, I'm in trouble. Hmm. All right. Uh, so I'm I'm tapping this way, so that I can potentially brainstorm into a pyroblast if they have another counter spell. But they might not. So actually, gonna grab Sprite here because. Not only do I want to just add to my board presence, but I want to stop any more, like, dispel or disrupt shenanigans that my opponent might have. They're probably logic nodding or depriving. Yep. Alright, your accumulated knowledge resolves. I am now in a ton of trouble. This is bad. And this all happened at the end of my turn, so... This is not good. This is really not good. Exclude is solid. Uh, I mean, I get teachings. Eh, let's do this like on their upkeep or something. Are they out of accumulated knowledges? One, two, three. They have one more. I have one more. All right. So basically, it's going to be who can resolve their last one. That's a good exclude target. Uh, hang on. Let's do it. I will pay one for Disrupt. It's okay. Alright. We did it. Kind of. I'm going to save the counter spell. They can ninja if they want. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. So this is a really, really ridiculous game. Opponent just boards in for accumulated knowledge, or just was always playing them, which is weird for a Delver deck. Because they're very tempo negative, but sure. Um, they're probably going to equip to the miscreant here. Yep. So the problem here is that if I block the miscreant, I take less damage, but they get to ninja the sprite. If I block the sprite, I take more damage. Um, except... I don't if they don't ninja. Right? Because if... Or I don't if they ninja. Right? If they ninja, then I take three. Or, sorry, two. No matter what. If they don't ninja, then... Yeah. Alright, I'm going to flashback Mystical Teachings. I don't want to draw... 
Uh, I don't want to draw either of those lands on top. All right, there's the accumulated knowledge. Draw for turn. That's a land. Sure. Cast AK. And if they have another counter spell, I'm dead. If not, I might be okay. Uh, they can resolve theirs. I don't have... I can't deal with it. Oh, wow. They just... Alright. Yeah. Good games. Good games, but we didn't quite get there. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for round four.